Welcome on board. This is the Church at Show, and we are on my favorite segment, the Word segment. We are looking into what is uh, the importance of the knowledge of the Lord. And our scripture is Hosea chapter 6 uh, from verse 1. And it says, Come, let us return to the Lord, for he has torn us that he may heal us. He has struck us down that he will bind us up. It continues to say, after two days he will revive us, on the that day he will raise us up, that we may live before him. And particularly says, let us know, let us press on to know the Lord. His going out is sure as a dawn. He will come to us as a showers, as a spring rains that water the earth. That is Hosea chapter 6 from verse 1 to 3, giving us a foundation of what we'll be discussing in this segment, that is the importance and what it means to know the Lord. And right here in studio with us, we do have a, a man of God. He is a minister with Feed My Lambs Ministry, an interdenominational ministry that reaches out to our primary school, high schools, and university students. It's domiciled under Crisco upper room branch and he has done an undergraduate in actuarial science he's an auditor by profession he is married to one joy amugune and our guest in studio is wilberforce amugune karibu sana how are you this morning I'm very well and blessed. Mm -hmm. Highly favored of the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank, Thank you, you for yes. coming on board to help us understand this topic. Something I'm yes. sure many of us um, have interacted with. Born again or not born again. But before we mm -hmm. get into the topic, we just want to see where you're coming from. How did you come to the knowledge um, of, of faith of our Lord Jesus Christ? Uh, thank you, Esther. Uh, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Uh, my journey has been quite uh, nice and tough at the same time. Uh -huh. uh, you know, growing up, uh, our family has several pastors. Mm -hmm. My uncle is a pastor, my dad is a pastor. Wow. Because of mine is a pastor. You know, you're going, growing up, yeah. it is a norm you are told, let's go to church. Mm -hmm. uh, I also grew up with my grandma a lot who loves church and she's a worshiper. Mm -hmm. She's like, every Sunday you have to go to church. So it is a norm. Mm. So for you, you think, uh, me, I'm going to church is good. But uh, even at that time, you know, preachers would come, make altar calls. I got born again many times. Every time they'll make an altar call, I feel like, ah, I <laughs> need to go. There. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's because we didn't have the knowledge yes. that this should be done this way or this way or the clear one. Mm. But I'll say uh, the one I did with full understanding was in high school when I was in Form 2 mm. and uh, I received Christ. But around uh, in campus first year, I backslid for like one semester. And then the second semester, I go back to the track. What and did you say uh, characterized your backsliding? Um, now that you uh, are in campus. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'd say uh, peer pressure mm. as well as uh, you feeling now I have freedom, let me try out everything, yes. how things go and what happens. But uh, the other thing also is that uh, I had been prophesied to as a kid around mm. the last three, four that I'll preach the gospel. Yeah. And I grew up a country and Pastors were not the best. We thought it was a career. It was not the best thing you want to do. Mm -hmm. So I would say now, because I'm here, let me do other things so that God forgets about that area mm -hmm. and allows me to continue the actual science and the corporate world. But ha, huh, God caught up with me there. <laughs> And yeah, from then I think I've been... So you backslid in campus first yes, year? Yes, first year. First and semester only. <laughs> only. Second semester? I was on track. <laughs> Only first semester. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you know, you get to campus, you're told, you know, there's fresh as ball and all these things, and you're like, ha, ah, there's life out here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, let me test it. Let me try out. Oh, yeah, sure, thank sure. God. And you mm. still came back to, sure, sure. Mm. to the Lord. Thank God, mm. because of that, now we mm. have you here sharing the word of God sure, with sure. us. So I've just mm. read the book of Hosea, chapter 6. Um, mm. uh, give us a background, help us understand. Uh, mm what the Lord is saying in the scripture. Uh, maybe you have a background of Hosea first. Hosea is written by prophet Hosea. Mm. And this is a prophet who is among those prophets who were tested so much by God. I mean, the things God told him to do, I think if I were the one, I would question God and argue a lot. But as you go and marry that harlot, yes. 
and clearly, you know, get the first, the first child, it tells you, you know, name him, a lot of judgment names. So Israel had uh, gone astray from God mm. and done tremendous rebellious things mm. that uh, forgiveness seemed far-fetched and they're coming back. Mm. But God uses Hosea to reach out to them and he gives them all the judgments and all things. But when he gets to chapter 6, he says, hey guys, there's a way out. Just like my story, you know, he tells us, Yes, let's come to the Lord. Mm. Even though he has broken, he has allowed us to be taken to captivity and all these things and allowed us into our own reasoning and everything. Yet, he is merciful. Mm. If you come back to him, he will bind us. Even though he tore us into pieces because of his anger, mm. but he says he will bind us, he will heal us, he will restore us. And he says after two days, he will revive us. Mm. He will not only restore us or bind us up, but he will also revive us. Mm. And he says, and again, not just uh, revive us, but also raise us up to dwell with him, to where he is. So th this is the scenario that uh, Hosea is coming up with. But he says now, there's also a condition. Now, then shall we know, verse 3, that if we follow on to know the Lord, then his going forth is prepared as the morning. You know, God had been giving Israel promises a lot from the time uh, of Abraham and the patriarchs of Israel and the nation he chose to walk with. But he told them now, it is because we fail to know him or walk with him that he breaks us or smites us. Mm -hmm. them, if we follow, you know, it's a conditional word. Mm -hmm. uh, in English, you know, it says, if then, if then. Then it says, if we follow on to know him, then he's, he's coming forth, is prepared at the morning. Just as we are sure there'll be a morning tomorrow, uh, even if I'm alive or not, but a morning will be there. As long as Christ studies, uh, day and night shall continue to be. The morning will be there. Says, that is how sure we are that God's coming or his blessing us or his promises are coming to us if we continue to know him. Mm -hmm. And he said, not only just come to us in a simple way, but he said, it shall come to us like the former and the latter rain. In other words, the former glory and the latter glory all combined. And this is what uh, you hear most people kind of praying for and asking God, bring to us a revival. But this revival cannot come. He says he'll revive us if we return to him. But again, we have to start following to know him. So that's the background. Coming from a sin rebellious uh, position mm -hmm. to a repentance position, confessing, coming back to the Lord, returning to him, and then he starts healing you, he binds you up, and he starts reviving, raising you up to dwell in his presence, and then allows you to start knowing of him mm -hmm. and having the knowledge of him. Mm -hmm. So the key thing here is, yes, we are in this bad state, but can we return? Mm -hmm. uh, Jeremiah says this in another way. It says in Lamentations 3, around verse 40, that let us examine ourselves and return to the Lord. In other words, the return is not just a, a coincidence. It is a deliberate decision. You examine yourself. You look into your life and everything, how things are happening. Why is things happening the way they're happening? Why are they uh, going this way? I've lived in rebellion for a lot of time. I have lived in sin. I've tried to come out of of sin and all addictions personally but i'm unable to so you examine you search you search out yourself and see where you've fallen short mm -hmm. and after examining yourself you return mm -hmm. and there's a promise when you return he shall surely bind you up i like what you said um someone is uh, stuck in uh, addictions and sinful patterns is it that there's a knowledge of the lord that we lack Yes, yes. It is a knowledge that we lack. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, uh, the book of Acts, chapter chapter 10, says that uh, they cannot know him unless they are preached to. Mm -hmm. Because faith comes by hearing. So hearing is a doorway to knowledge. Yeah. Until you hear that there is a saving Christ, there is one who, who, who has come to take me out of my bondage and out of my shackles and fetus, you stay in it. So number one is hearing the word. Once you hear, you believe. Mm -hmm. Now that's the faith now, what faith does to you. It helps you to believe in the word. And when you believe, you confess and allow Christ us reforming you. Amos says it in a different way that my people perish due to lack of knowledge. And it's because I offered my knowledge, but they have rejected it. Now it's not just having knowledge, but also accepting the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Because our knowledge on its own puffs up. Or it can bring pride. Actually, uh, Apostle Paul says, uh, I mean Peter, in the second letter of Peter, he says that there are things that my brother Paul has written that many use to their destruction. In other words, they have the knowledge, but it destroys them. They have not accepted and appropriated it rightfully for it to be able to be useful to them. Mm -hmm. 
just like when you study uh, in any field in campus, unless you get the wisdom and understanding to appropriate it, you stay poor and cry every day unless you are able to apply. So it is knowing but also receiving and being able to apply by faith. Mm. So uh, there's a lack of knowledge, yes, and, and it's one thing that makes Christ study to come. He says, and the gospel shall be preached among all nations, then Christ shall come. Mm -hmm. In other words, mm -hmm. not all people have heard the gospel. Mm. Majority have heard, but not all of them have heard. Mm. The people are not yet reached, and they are still uh, struggling in sin and all this mm -hmm. uh, without the solution, mm. because they have not gotten the right knowledge of the solution. Some have heard the gospel, but a perverse gospel, or let me not even call it gospel. It is a certain knowledge, and people are bringing their own ways to cause you, and people say, no, these people are con men. No, that's not the, what, what you're saying. It is the right uh, basic doctrines of the gospel according to the Bible. Mm. Once people know this and they're able to believe, the Holy Spirit convicts them and they come into the fold and God starts walking with them and direct them in the path that they should follow. Mm. Yes, yes. Hmm. Wow. Wow. I understand the place of the knowledge of God as far as salvation is concerned. I see... Uh, Paul telling the Ephesians, you know, I pray that God may give you a spirit of wisdom and understanding in in his knowledge in who he is. What's the essence? Why would Paul actually pray such a prayer for uh, people who are already founded, who are already believers? Uh -huh. Maybe a background of Paul is Ephesians. Mm. Look at Acts 19. Mm. Paul visits Ephesus in his missionary journey and he goes into the temple and finds 12 elders and he asks them, Have you known of the Christ of the Holy Spirit? Yeah. And they say, we are not yet. Then who are you baptizing? I mean, you you believe you say you believe in God, but what happened? And they told you, you only received the baptism of John. In other words, you only repented. You only came into the fold. But there's some knowledge that you are not aware. And then the Bible says, then Paul explained to them, and he prayed to them and laid hands on them, that all that were prayed for received the Holy Spirit and prophesied mm. and spoke in tongues. Mm. Now, it is on these elders that now he starts founding the church. I like and that. when he's talking to them, he tells them now, hey... There are heavier mysteries about this walk with God, mm. about the salvation walk, that do not just end at receiving Christ. You have to know him daily, you understand have... the breath of his love. Mm -hmm. I like that. So you are explaining to us as um, you're explaining to us as in the book of Acts um, uh, a background of how the Church of Ephesians was mm. formed and how the believers were being encouraged, especially in the knowledge of the Lord. And just in case you are joining us this morning, we are on the word segment. We are discussing the knowledge of God. And that is something that is prevalent to all of us, either those who are getting to know the Lord and even those who are already in the faith. We are live on KTV Kenya Facebook page. You can uh, put down your comment there. You can also share with your friends. We can also text us on 0797578737. You can text us in on WhatsApp and messages and just get to know what you understand by this topic and what your question even would be for us as we continue with this discussion. So, Brother Wilberforce is helping us understand what Paul meant when he was telling the Ephesians, you know, I want you to grow in wisdom and understanding and the knowledge of who God is. Yes. Uh, there's a statement that I tell people mm. the knowledge without understanding and wisdom is dangerous and unfruitful mm. because wisdom is the right application of knowledge mm. and understanding allows you to know what you know will help you or allow you to achieve. Mm. There are people who know God, they claim to know God but because they lack the understanding and the wisdom that knowledge doesn't help them at all. By the way, I have had a lot of engagements with artists and people of other faiths uh, in what we call apologetics mm -hmm. discussions. Mm -hmm. And you'll be shocked how most Muslims know the Bible more than Christians. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, an average Muslim knows the Bible more than 30% than an average Christian. Mm -hmm. Now, they know it, but the wisdom and the understanding and the conviction of the Holy Spirit has not come in to help them to turn into the fold. Yes. That's why others will quote for you scriptures, yes. word for word, mm -hmm. a lot of them. But it destroys them or it puffs them up because it is a knowledge without understanding wisdom mm -hmm. and the right application in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So that's what Paul was praying for the church in Ephesus. Hey guys, I pray that you may know the love of God and in his knowledge. Let me just get you that scripture. It's Ephesians uh, chapter 3. So that uh, 
you get exactly what it says so that uh, we are able to appreciate that. Mm. He says, there's a place of, uh, of wisdom, understanding, and the love of God. Mm. Because it is this love that allows you to appropriate uh, that, 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 that uh, knowledge of God. It's Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 14. He says that, For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father mm -hmm. of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in the heaven and earth is named, that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with the might by his spirit and inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that you being rooted and guarded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints. Mm. That being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height and to know the love of Christ mm. and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that he might be filled with all the fullness of God. Mm. In other words, this understanding and knowing and, and, and the wisdom even passes the knowledge itself. Yes, this is what it gives you the fullness of God. It allows you to understand who God is, what spheres you press in, and how you can relate with Him mm. at a personal level, so that He becomes a father to you. You do not just hear Him. You know, I love how the, the Bible calls the church the bride of Christ. Mm. And you know, uh, as a husband, you must understand your bride. Your bride does not just know you. That's what the Bible says. And Abraham knew Sarah. Mm. In other words, when you have your wife, you understand them. So. As being the bride of Christ, we must understand him as our, 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 our king and all this. And for us to understand him in the knowledge and the wisdom and the place of the Holy Spirit. Uh, one man uh, called Smith Goswath would say that some people read the Bible in Greek, some in Hebrew, some mm. in King James, some in, in, in NIV. But I read the Bible in the Holy Spirit. Mm. In other words, I allow the Holy Spirit to interpret to me. Because Jesus, before he went to the disciples, it is important that I go, but I'll send you another helper who will teach you all truth. He tells them, there are things that I can't tell you because you will not understand, but mm -hmm. when he comes, he will show you into all the truth and explain to you who I am, who the Father is, and how our kingdom operates. Mm -hmm. In other words, there's a place for the Holy Spirit in the knowledge of God. You must allow him to come in when you tell you to the Holy Spirit, please expound to me, teach me all truth, mm. and remind me of all oracles of the Lord. Mm. Yes. Mm. So that's important. That's why Paul is praying with the church in Ephesus. Mm. Hey, guys. And before he makes that prayer, he tells them, in, in verse 10, he tells them that it is the intent of God that the manifold wisdom of God be known to angels, powers, principalities, and all creatures mm. through the church. So he's saying even angels are waiting to know the manifold wisdom of God by us, that's why I tell me, because of such a great assignment, yes. then you must get the spirit of understanding. Mm. Yes. I like that. Um, something you have stated uh, just there, you said many of us, knowledge pass up, and mm. many of us are in the kingdom. We know many things, but we are not practicing them. Why, why is that? Uh, I'll say, you know, uh, unfortunately, most human minds love theory. <laughs> And don't practice. <laughs> and, and, and James tackles that very well in, yes. in, his, in his book, mm -hmm. in the letter of James. Mm -hmm. He says, you know, if you hear the word and do not practice it, yes. it's like going to look yourself in the mirror and do not uh, see who you are yes. and turning back. Yes. So he says, it's not just about hearing, but doing. And doing, you know, it starts by baby steps. That's why salvation is a journey, it's not a destination. Mm -hmm. Once you're born again, you begin a journey. You have not reached. Otherwise, God will decide as long as someone, as soon as you are born again, He takes you to heaven. But it's a journey. Mm -hmm. there, there, there is a process that comes with this journey for you to do. There's a sanctification that occurs. There's a separation that happens. The Lord starts separating you from your former things, mm -hmm. and He gradually graduates you into a level of starting to walk the talk, mm -hmm. to walk scriptures, and you start to reach to a point that you say, like Apostle Paul, you know. I no longer live, but Christ mm. who lives in me. Mm. And, and you know, I love the uh, attitude of Paul, having been a very rebellious man himself, persecuting the church. And remember, he knew the laws, by the way. Mm. He was expecting another Messiah. He had all the knowledge, just that he had not received Christ and the right understanding in the way of the knowledge. Mm. But once he got into the kingdom, Paul began seeking God. He even boasts and says, I pray more than all of you. I seek God more than all of you. Mm. And despite all that, he still says in Philippians 3 that I want to know Christ. And sometimes I get shocked. 
hey, wait a, wait, wait a bit. This is a man who wrote nearly a third of the New Testament, and you still tell us that you want to know Christ. Mm. So what do we know really? Mm. <laughs> if you can uh, confess that I do not know him, I want to know him, and the power of resurrection, and the fellowship in his sufferings, and obtain. And says, I forget what is behind, and I press on towards the goal, mm. to the mark of the high calling, and that price. In other words, he says that, he's saying that, hey, I have received some little knowledge, but I'm sacrificing my body daily, beating myself, that I may walk in this journey. And he says that very clearly in First Corinthians chapter 9, that after preaching to many, I beat my body daily, mm-hmm. that after preaching, I may not miss myself. Mm-hmm. That is the, 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 the tragedy that might meet a lot of ministers like me, that we preach, we have the knowledge, we have the understanding born again, mm-hmm. but we don't walk it, and we forget that we are also on a pilgrimage journey. And the goal is to get to heaven. Mm. So the, the, the best thing will be daily tell the Lord today. It is a day at a time. It's a new day. You granted me. Give me the grace to walk through. Mm. And his grace is abundant. He teaches us to say not. It is Paul still writes to Titus, chapter 2, verse from verse uh, 1 onwards, that the grace of God has appeared to all men. Mm. And he teaches them to say no to all ungodliness. Mm-hmm. In other words, I am able to walk in the knowledge of God. By the grace of God, because He'll teach me. He tells me, "Hey, this is not the path. Go this way." And the Holy Spirit is always with us, whispering as a deep voice. You know that people say, "Hey, na kuna kitu ni niambia." No, the Holy Spirit is just reminding you, "Hey, this is not the right way. Go this way." But unfortunately, sometimes we do not heed or listen to Him. Mm-hmm. We want to go in our way, and it's very gentle. Uh, and that's why the Bible says, "Do not grieve Him." He's very gentle. He'll just remind you, you are to follow. Mm-hmm. In other words, it is a will thing. It is my will. How do I now attain this? Is subjecting my will to the will of God. Mm. I tell him, God, I have my will and my thoughts, but guide me how to rightly appropriate your word mm. and walk in it daily. Uh, and he'll say in Romans 12 that uh, uh, there has not be conformed to the patterns of the world. Mm. There has be uh, transformed by the renewal of our mind yes. that we may be able to know what is the perfect and good will of the Lord for us. In other words, you are transformed daily. You are, you are, you are, you are changed and metamorphosed daily by God mm. to be able to conform to His ways. Mm. It is a daily work. It is not something that I'm born again today, and behold, everything is gone, and I'm starting. I, I am very perfect. Mm. No, temptations will come, sin will be there, but the Holy Spirit is there to remind us the path of God, mm. so that we can walk in His ways. We are being transformed into His glory daily. Paul says in 2 Corinthians 3 that us, we see like in a glass, but we are being transformed every day to conform to His glory. Mm. And when you are, you reach to a point that you are now perfect, you can say like Paul, I have finished my race. Mm. I have now attained the level that God wants to me mm. to be. That's why he says, be holy as I am holy. Be perfect as I am perfect. He is the one who helps us. He says in Philippians that, let us uh, let us uh, uh, work out our salvation mm. with fear and trembling. Mm. But because it says, for it is God who works in us to will and to act, mm. both to will and to do. Mm. Allow him to help you conform to his ways. Conform to his ways. Thank mm. you so much. As we bring this conversation to a close, I you stated something about a strange gospel or even a gospel that is not a gospel at mm. all. Um, what would you say about um, the church? in Kenya, especially when it comes to deception. Is it that um, most of us have left the responsibility of seeking to know who God is, to ministers, and why why are we susceptible to that mm. kind of deception? Number one, uh, I'll say this, where there is fake, there is original. Mm. <laughs> there cannot be a fake that an original. Without an original. So yes, as much as there is this deception, there's also people who are in truth. Mm. And there are quite many mm-hmm. that are out here. We just need to seek and know. And it is, it is not a news or something weird that is happening. Paul tells Timothy up front that in the last days shall come tough and perilous times mm. where men shall be seekers of themselves and not of God. Yeah. And they'll want to hear what their itching ears want and know the true word of God. Mm-hmm. Now, the reason why we are susceptible to deception is because we want to hear what you want to hear. Mm-hmm. That's true. So That's if, true. if I get here and I am taught the true doctrine and the knowledge of God, 
and it's kind of uh, rebuking me and I feel I'm so rebuked. Yes. I want to live and go somewhere where I'm told, hey, you shall be rich. You will be prosperous. Yes. yes. There's rich and prosperity in the gospel, mm. but you have to walk right and be upright with God and walk in his knowledge. Mm. So it's because we, we, we want to be comfortable in our ways and still claim God. That's mm. why we are susceptible to that. Mm. You know, that's why you say, you know, I want to go to church the way I want. If I decide to go with a, a booty shot, is me, my just you know, the salvation is in the heart, <laughs> not outward looking. We bring so many excuses because that's what we want to hear, and that's where we become gullible. Yes. We want to fornicate anyhow in church, mm. as you say, you know, God is merciful, oh, and, and you notice the, our generation, because I'm a young man anyway. Yes. Anytime you try to correct someone, they tell you, Don't judge me. The Bible says, Don't judge. Yes. How did you know I'm judging you? I'm correct. It means you're already judging yourself. You already know, you already what, know what you're, you're doing, doing is wrong. wrong. So yes. you just you're just avoiding mm. the reality and the clear uh, gospel. That's true. So that's why uh, we have we want to hear what we want to hear, yes. and we become susceptible to deception. Mm. The second thing is uh, we have delegated the mandate of uh, working with God to our pastors, <laughs> or knowing knowing God for ourselves. Yes. There are very few people who read their Bibles mm. during the week. There are very few people who take time to pray. That's true. Some people only remember to pray for food and when they're in trouble. Mm. But just praying, telling God, uh, today I just desire a, a relationship with you. Just speak to me. I want to know your ways. Very few. Yeah, yeah. You have to start deliberately saying, God, I want to know you. I want to know your ways so that I can walk the way you want me to walk. Mm. I can live the way you want me to live. Mm. So it, it is uh, upon us to start studying the Bible. That's why some people will just read some verses out of context and uh, 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 and deceive you and you will come give them, they'll buy mantles, they'll buy handkerchiefs, buy anointing oil and forget to pray for yourself yeah. because you don't have the knowledge of God. Mm. Seek the Lord for yourself and uh, um, become uh, conformed to his ways. Do not want to Put your meaning to the Bible. Mm. Allow the Bible speak to you rather than speaking to the Bible. Oh, they are speaking to the Bible. Yeah, that's what I call a deductive Bible study. Mm. There's inductive and deductive Bible study. Mm. Inductive is studying the Bible the way it is and allowing it to speak to you and transform you. Yes. Deductive is studying it to get a solution the way you want. I see, I see, I see. So, so I already have a premeditated yes. idea about something mm. and I want that mm. scripture too. Like for students who say, you know, I have not studied for my exams and they start saying, oh Lord, your Bible says the memory of the righteous is blessed. <laughs> you know, and that's not the key message that the Bible tries to speak of. Yes. Okay, God can help your memory, it's but you're not true. doing your part. It's so true. you're trying to put what you want in the Bible mm. so that it can work for you. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, and that wouldn't happen. Mm. That's why we easily fall into deception. Mm. Yes, yes. Wow, thank you. We'll, Brother Wilberforce, that is very, very profound. Uh, can you give us your parting shot even as we mm. uh, get into a time of prayer? Okay, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity. Uh, this is what I love to tell uh, my, my fellow people in the kingdom of God and those who are not in, in yet, you can make a decision to come in and walk in this knowledge. It is not easy, it is not uh, milk and honey, it is a daily walk with God, beating your body daily, as Paul will say, so that you can conform to his word. I would also love to tell us that let us yearn to know the Lord. His knowledge is insatiable. You cannot know him fully, but let us yearn to daily know something new about God and, uh, and desire to walk it, desire to, to Put it into practice so that the word is not just theory, but is something that we live it by day by day. Mm -hmm. And the good Lord shall uh, truly bless you and work you out. You can only benefit from God that which you know about him. Amen, you. amen. You can only benefit from God through that which you know about him. Thank you, Brother Wilberforce. Can you pray with us as the Lord leads you? Thank you. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we are grateful for the opportunity to just come before you and share your word today. I bless you for all our viewers, our oh God. I bless you for the country of Kenya. Master, how I pray, mm -hmm. as Paul prayed, that you shall give us the spirit of understanding and wisdom into your knowledge. Mm -hmm. That you shall not only know it, but you shall give us the ability to appropriate it uh, 
well and properly and walk it daily that we may become as you are our God. So at the end we may say like Paul that I have fought a good fight. Mm. I have finished the race and I have obtained the promise. And this promise is for all who shall walk through this journey. Mm. And so Lord I pray for anyone who is unwell. May the knowledge of your healing power oh God heal them now in the name of Jesus. Those who are depressed oh God may your knowledge of love and peace that comes from you get into their heart oh Lord Father. Those who are trusting you for provision, Lord Father, may your knowledge of how you are a provider and Jire mm. be manifest to them, Lord, that they may receive that which they desire, O oh God, through you, O oh God. And above all, Lord Father, I pray for those who are not born again, Father, by this knowledge, O oh God, Father, they shall come into the fold and start walking the journey mm. in the name of Jesus Christ. We honor you and bless you, Father. Thank you for the revival you promised, O oh God, that the former and the latter rain, that if you follow on to know you, that these ones are are prepared as the morning. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord, for the revival is indeed hitting Kenya mm -hmm. and the young people and the Kenya shall know you and shall cry out and say that God is the Lord of Kenya. Mm -hmm. We honor and bless you for your down in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank, amen. You. thank you. Thank you very so much. much, brother Wilberforce, for very well ably helping us understand the knowledge of God, the importance, and why we need to continue seeking the Lord. Thank you on so a, much, my host. On a, on a daily basis. Thank you so much. Uh, pass our regards to your family and your church family. That was a real buff of uh, helping us understand this topic of the knowledge of God, just in case you missed this or um, you came in while we had already started. Kindly uh, share this and uh, watch on KTV Kenya Facebook page. You still have so much more in stuff for you, including music that has been released in the course of the week. You do not want to miss it any of that, please keep your charge a clock show. o'clock show KUTV in conjunction with Kenyatta University Funeral Home is now offering death announcements immediately following our news bulletins at 7 p.m. At this sorrowful time, as you share in your grief, allow us to communicate your announcement of your loved one on KUTV in both Kiswahili and English. For more details, kindly inquire at the KU Funeral Home Service Desk or call 0736-928-380 or dial 20 359 Ukiwa na dukuduku la michezo, tunafungua sanduku la dukuduku kufahamu zaidi. Kila dana dana. Mitimko. Mifia tuko na harakati zote ugani, sisi ni wako mwandani. Kukuruka kara zote nyanjani, jiezi kuangaziwa zaidi ya micharazo mchezoni. Mimi mwana spoti wako matata pita pinches mwaora, na kuwa na jopo lenye maarifu wa sukufu, ni kufahamishe na ni kuburudishe wewe shabiki shakiki, uhakiki na kinda kinda kinda. Finding is a unique and sophisticated experience that you're not going to find in normal dining restaurants right here in our country. In this new season, we are going to be bringing you these amazing experience right in your dining tables and even in your kitchen. I'm your chef and host, John International 254, and this is your favorite show, our delicacy show.
Imagine living in a society that embraces social justice and equal opportunities for all. On Woman Crush Wednesday, Rise Today, we bring you experts for meaningful conversations on matters, gender equality. As we speak. So we continuously work with the men. I feel that they are judging the girl. Parenthood. Mind is very important in infertility. Mental and physical health. You need to be surrounded by a proper network. This time is a healing process. I'm going to talk to you about the boys and I'm going to talk to you about the boys. I'm going to talk to you about the boys. I feel like if you have 15 minutes, if you have 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever amount of time, use it. Because any physical activity is beneficial. No physical activity is dangerous for you. And we touch on current affairs. Marrying is a journey. Mm -hmm. It means you're taking a journey together. I'm I'm dying to be different. Tangamoto ziko, but you can't sit there saying, oh, mimi nitafanya mziki siku wenye dozi takampe. You look at this person and you're like, wow. They just woke up and they found themselves here. Join us every Wednesday morning at 7 to 10 a.m. here on Rise Today Woman Crush Wednesday. I am your host, Nina Gikunda. clock show
Church o'clock, kama kama, my name is DJ Teros, and fading away song in eight was Zaidi by Sunshine Music, yani, uh, ni song kali sana hapo alafu bado pale awali nikuwa ni meanza na yake Njoki Munyi, wakiwa na Jackie Gashiri, uh, I think ni sister sao, walikuwa na nini hapo, but video kidogo imekuwa na noma, but uh, we'll still play it hapo, inaitua Onja, make sure pia umeget pale kwenye YouTube itakuble sana, ukiandika Njoki Munyi hapo a brand new song alafu pia ukiandika pia sunshine uh, sunshine music inaitwa zaidi uh, song ni kali sana but kama kawa na check time inakimbia kidogo na guest uh, wetu wa shafika pale tunaingia tu na yetu ina few anaitwa Kiririmbi wale wase wanzao wamekuanga pia wakipita mahali wanakutana na yeye mzee akipiga neno akipiga pia pale injili kabisa atakuwa anatuambia pia ana setup ingi wapi na anapiga yani injili because yani na uh, hakuna uh, kitu poa kama kueneza injili kila mahali ikuwe ni wapi ikuwe kani kuingia kwa matatu ikuwe ni kuset up ataka kando ya barabara yani anywhere tu yani kwa tunamjua tu in a few but in the short time wakijipanga panga tukikiukiu hapo pia songs waja tusikie moji song inaito unanicheki
We answer only to Jesus. Them a wonderful day like this. Wonderful day like this. In your presence, Lord. In your presence, Lord. Wanda no more. Suffer no more. One man is on be your slogan no more. Run from the show. Reload us low. Them a supervision of the spirit. Log it for me. Sing. Wanda no more. Suffer no more. One man is on be your slogan no more. Run from the show. Heal what just know. Them a supervision of the spirit. Log it for me. Here we go round. Coming around. When you see the preacher man, Christ is around. No can be found. Freedom for the bound. Triple double siren can be heard by the voice. Here we go round. Coming around. When you see the preacher man, Christ is around. No can be found. Freedom for the bound. Triple double siren can be heard. Give a wonderful day like this. Give a wonderful day like this. Yes, welcome back. Any uh, song in it I wonder no more by Kiri Rembe. Karibu sana, bro. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Uko salama. Niko chonjo. Eh, hey, maybe kuna wala sayo wakujui pale. Unaweza ji introduce pale utuambie. Oh, pale mtandaoni. Yes. Okay. I go by the name Kiri Rimbi with the lighter shining light so brighter but the blood and pure and white ordained to preach and shed light. Yes, I evangelist, upper singer, songwriter, a yeah. believer of Jesus Christ, born again, spirit filled, one's a citizen of heaven, and I'm glad to be in this place in a mighty way. Kabisa. Yes, sir. I'm a citizen of heaven. Be as in a citizen <laughs> of yes. heaven. But I would want to be a pojina. Kiri Rimbi kwanza ili toka hapi. Najwa se wengi kuna song tunajua ina ito hivyo. But yani kumbe ni jina bado ya mtu pale. Maze. Hey. Oh, jina Kiri Rimbi ni jina, ni jina yangu. <laughs> but uh, those are not my ID names. Yeah. But I would say ni jina Christ uh, Linipea. <laughs> Even as I was uh, seeking to know uh, na, jina Usani uh, 20, 2017. <laughs> tunabisha na mamori tunataka kujua jina za usani eh. so lazima ujite nje ile ya mzazi eh. so i glorify god ni nilikuwa nimeikataa 2017 but eh. it simply inamaanisha a huge fans eh. moto kubwa eh, na kumbe ni the love of god i've grown understanding the love of god it's eh. a huge fire eh. which melts even the hearts of stone kabisa so inamaanisha hivyo 
Hebu tuambie jani yako ya ya venye ulianza yani ukafika hizo zote umesema songwriter bado pale. Okay. Yaani ukafika mahali ukasema unaanza ku recognize hizi vitu uko nazo yani. Unajua inakuwa pia jani kidogo. Yeah, Hebu naweza tupeleka nyuma kidogo tu tukisamarai samarai hivi. Okay, a jani inaanzaga na inaanzaga na kuokoka. Yeah. I believe inaanzaga na kusevika because unless you're born again you'll never adventure into understanding the dimensions of what God has in store for you. Yeah. I think inaanza na kuzaliwa una set kwa hiyo world alafu unakuwa born again mm -hmm. i became born again i think I, i'm now 10 years in salvation mm -hmm. and i believe now to venture into music and evangelism ilianza ilianza 2016 mm -hmm. and ilikuwa tush pale kawendani <laughs> eh, kama mamtush mamare <laughs> eh, and so nikiwa pale kawendani uh, the the call ilianza kukuwa ndani yangu because i'm brought up by a parent ambaye alikuwa parent ambaye alikuwa alikuwa wa kanisa yeah Yeah, so alikuwa na nichocha tu story ya word story ya word story ya word so i believe 2017 mm. ndo nikaanza nikaanza kujifind i there's been born again and there's understanding your purpose mm. you see your purpose in god uh, so 2017 ndo nili nilipatana na nilipatana na naweza sema nini nilipatana na maboy wananiambia there's been born again and there is your purpose in god amen mm. Mm. So papa siangu in God nilifa in 2016 nikaanza ku venture into evangelism simple evangelism telling people about Jesus then 2017 kapata na crew inafanya gospel reggae mm. nilikuwa consumer kwa dunia sijaimba hata siyo ama wapi mimi amenyeni mara kwanza nilimba alinichuja eh. ilikuwa Raima so mimi sikuwa nadhani nilikuwa consumer nikapenda rhythm sana eh. so nilijipata tena naimba maze understanding my purpose after being born again so along the way nika 2017 July 31 mm. i quit my job mm. nilifinywa na god ali alinisukuma kabisa ni achane na na for, kitu nilikuwa nafanya mm. ni pursue full time ministry so i'm an evangelist mm. even as i i i, I, I na, na branch through music through placards yeah, the ministry called manila ministry and everything i do is anchored on that but being born again being spirit filled then have in the knowledge of the word of god of your purpose mm. ndio imefanya nifike hapo kabisa manzai yes. unajua pia fan base na cheki pia bado ime grow yeah. uh, following wase at least una nini unajua hakunaga ma fans wengi yani kabisa yani kama uh, wase kuwa na ma fans so mtucha na kuwa na ma fans wengi sana yeah. yani <laughs> anakuwa na ma fans wengi sana na sijui wase bado kama umewaki pale uh, uh, intact yani at least mna preachiana unatumia una pia message wana support bado mziki yako yeah, ama jani imekuaje oh pale naweza sema kwanza big up yourself watu wa mtaa ya kawendani yeah. uh, naweza sema jani imekuwa kuna ile mambo yetu mlikuwa ganao yeah. but uh, i believe uh, eh, kuna once you're born again there is a new company you gain You know that was another company there are people used to associate because of hooking they now let up a moja mm. but along the way on God ameleta wasi wengine mi preach kwa kwanza yango ni noma ju nilitumwa Jerusalem yeah. the place uliko nashikisha the place uliko na vuta mandom mm. the place uliko napiga stare yako hapo ndo unaenda ku preach the gospel yeah. mazi so yeah ni nimekuwa na one on one najaribu kuwapata yeah. some are coming to the saving grace yeah. but others are wana ngine wana mzaha si unajua familia lazim kukuzoea yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kabisa na kuna wase pia at least pia hata mimi mimi na kuchekingi mahali pia yeah, ki preach na yeye mwanzai nataka kare jingine yani yeah, sije hiyo calling yani ilifika wapi yeah. unafika mahali pia una set up mahali mna preach mna piga neno pale mna piga injili yani yeah. nini ilifanyaga mahali uliniona mahali ilikona mahali hiyo na ilikuja naweza sema unajua along the way unaenda uki grow yeah. ilianza na placard i think 2018 ndio yeah. sasa nimetoka ile full ile nime najifind na sasa naji understand kwa ministry mm. so 2018 ndio nenda nikijifind find kwa ministry ndio nilipata na nilikuwa naomba god anipe ma like minded mm. yes uko uko anointed when minister wa god mm. but una need uh, una need my like minded kwa hii journey so i believe god alinileta wase by the way na kuna group na na wakna wanajita 
worldwide Christ Crusaders. Mm -hmm. I would say a group of uh, men whom we work with. My ministry is called Manila Ministry uh, with a slogan, a demonstration of love. Mm. But now to Limaj, now I say, we are Sasamisko and Nabongaga. I would lift up my, 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 my placards for like three years. Yeah. And I would say, uh, the, the last year when we went to a CMM meeting, a missions meeting, mm. I don't know how God merged us. Sasa to me patana na crew, uh, big up yourself, a bedi and the crew now in Guinea Wengi from different churches merging together with a to na preach na placard to make one meter mingi. Yani, I understood the gospel ni more of uh, it's one Jesus, one heaven, one Satan we are fighting. Let's merge together. Unity is key. So you know, 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 you heaven. you know, 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 the secret behind is the power of the Holy Spirit. Which Acts 10 38 says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, who went on doing good and healing all who are demon possessed, for, for, the, for God was with him. So, the secret to effective preaching, praying, uh, love for God, compelling you is Jesus Christ in us, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit in us. So, me see unusual, each one can be that way. Kabisa, not pale. Ah, uh, tunamaliza na hii song inaitwa Is It Wrong? Tuambie kuhusu hiyo song. Oh, is it wrong? Yeah. Is it wrong? Maze, it's, it's my first song. Mm -hmm. I remember when I started uh, 2017, so na just flexible na una hapa kule unajaribu kujifind. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord alini alinipeleka uh, there is a place called Experience at Kawasukari. It's mm -hmm. a meeting of young people where I started attending here. I believe 2017-2018. That's why I found a good reception because they would bring Real life issues, Falcona Taco League issues are life. And uh, I believe when they would, uh, with songwriting in me, when they would talk about an issue, I would find it uh, more, more, more rewarding to write a song for the same topic. Mm -hmm. And so Nili and Ngoma, they were talking about love that time. Nika and Ngoma, my own lead. My own lead in a, yeah. When I thought I knew love, I didn't know about love. Can I be my own lead? No, no, I can't on my own. It's a simply, when I thought I knew love, I only knew lust. Mm. Ile 1 John 2.15. 1 mm. John 2.15. Last of the eyes, last of the fle flesh, pride of life. That's all I knew. Because agape love now introduces you to who he really is. Mm. Unconditional love, loving you when you don't meet the standard. So that's why Kererembe also has a slogan, has a theme verse I love, Romans 5.8. Mm. But God demonstrated his own love to us while we were still sinners. Christ died for, for us. So we have always loved people because they are lovable, but God loved us when we had gotten up and So that song majors on the love of God, only centered on Jesus Christ, our Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, so look with me easy but napenda Jesus son. <laughs> yes I Kabisa <laughs> manze Na yeah. watu wanakupata aje pale kwenye mtandao Oh mtandao platform zote Unajua kwa screen yako kuna yu jina kirirembe With a double lie mm -hmm. So uh, uh, iwe twitter iwe, iwe facebook iwe instagram eh, Tukwadi tiktok for, for, for The reason of the faith yeah. Instagram, youtube pale uh, New music coming up Biju lazima na, Mavida na joni mwe kanja kidogo But kirirembe all platform Forms. Mm. Mm. Book of Life Bana. Hey, kire. <laughs> 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 itakuletea hapo yani na bado pia unaweza kutana na yeye bado mahali manzee na make sure umemgotea na umwambie ulimcheki hapa cha choklo hapa KUTV tuna log out na hii song inaitwa is it wrong sikia hii glory to the king jesus is the king get it in the light this is my testimony is it wrong if i freely say that I'm rooted in Christ for life But bear with me when I shout today He's my groom and his wifey too I hate him for so my lover say So I'm glad that I'm here to stay I'm gonna be whole gaze upon his face God bless this life eternity okay. Is it wrong if I freely say That I'm rooted in Christ for life Oh, bear with me when I shout today. He's my groom and his wife, too. 
tell them again. I had it for but some my lovers day. day. So I'm glad that I'm here to stay. I'm gonna be whole gaze upon his face. Can't let this life eternity, eternity. Can't let this life eternity. Follow me as I sing to my king. king. Okay. Moving stronger. Every day I'm moving stronger. Fighting harder. Anyway, I'm fighting harder. For the crown of victory. Awaits me crown of victory. Crown of victory. Awaits me crown of victory. Victory. Moving stronger. Every day I'm moving stronger. Climbing ladders. Climbing ladders. Victory, I wait the crown of victory. Crown of victory, I wait the crown of victory. Victory, victory, victory. Glory to the King. Hallelujah. This is my role under the sun to praise your way. Worshiping with all my being is my rock and my salvation, so I will sing. Okay, okay. Is it wrong if I freely say that I'm rooted in Christ for life? Oh, bear with me. Today is my groom and his wifey too. I had it for some my lovers day, so I'm glad that I'm here to stay. I'm gonna be whole gaze upon his face. Countless days, life eternity, eternity. Glory to the King. Jesus is the King. Moving stronger. Every day I'm moving stronger. Fighting harder, anyway I'm fighting harder For the crown of victory, I wait the crown of victory In a different way Crown of victory, I wait the crown of victory In a different way, we glorify God stronger, every day I'm moving stronger Climbing ladders, climbing ladders Climbing ladders, anyway I'm climbing
Niko magode, Niko magode, hey wakitani. Niko magode, Niko magode, hey wakitani. Niko magode, Niko magode, hey. Nili kutoka sili me, since I knew you have been killing it. Watu mokoka feeling me, do not figure shere he feeling me. Was in a gonga, missing my eye, mini could do mountain eye. Oh yeah, what's it? Wanna lala na ski wa ongo, wanna lie. Nime to li hazabe na ma murio, murio. Do go stories that un go ring or it. And we're coming back from Gospel Art. We had our artist, Kiri Rembe. Hey, that was amazing. That was awesome. That was on fire. Just like he's described his name, DJ. Yes, manzee, na kama venya mesema, anaito Kiri Rembe mwenyewe. Enda pale manzee venya ni mesema kwenye YouTube. Checky, uh, uh, job zake pale, ya nizita kubless pia. Some of the interviews pia, bado wamekua aki, aki do pale, uh, Zita <laughs> kubless tu sana ya ni kabisa Na bado tajamuita tute na hapa bado atupigie bado uh, ingine Because hapa ya ni ukikamingi hapa una feel at home kabisa But kama kawa sisi ndia tunamaliza show ndia tuna log out A big shout out to each and every person mwenye amekuwa na sisi from 7 uh, up to now 10 tukimalizia ya ni Nasema ni asanti na goda wa bless sana Kea uh, next Sunday <laughs> Ni wouldn't say kesho tunakuja <laughs> Next Sunday, same channel uh, Same show yani Make sure manzai bado ume, ume, ume Tuki pale uh, company from 7 To 10 am Na goda wa bless sana So anaenda church pia yani uh, Make sure yani, yani uh, umeishi uka praise Na uombe pia jirani yako Ama vipi yes <laughs> Yes, uh, tendele kuombea jirani, tendele ku evangelize. Unisikia wenye kiririmi ya mekuwa scriptures mingi. Kuwea <laughs> ti mati sana jua neno. Uh, we, I think for that you watched us all the way from 7 out to 10 a.m. Almost 10 a.m. When we asked you the Bible trivia question, which was, who was a king that crowned a queen, Esther? And uh, the answer to that question was, uh, aha. <laughs> Ahasau. Yeah, Ye jina ni nguvu. Ina inalemea <laughs> inalemea di waulizaji swali. Inalemea di waulizaji swali. Ahasaurus. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Ahasa, I think I, 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 I think na extended ni mimi ndatafuta question ya kuuliza. Hiyo kama pia ina kama si inatulemea. Ni <laughs> kwa nguvu sana. So, Matamshi ndiyo noma. Matamshi ya ni ndiyo noma. But, <laughs> umasema ti answer ni gani? Ahasaurus. Sia DJ, Ahasaurus kanyo ya nchekelea. Sia jina, mii ni nilemea mii mwenyewe. Mii ya sita kundanganya. Wee, wamefanya mpua ni kwenye waja Google. Kama yeah. mtu wame Google. Ata wame Google, lakini kutamuka ndiyo. Mbani ni shida. Kani noma kidogo. Lord, thank you so much for joining us for the Church O'Clock Show. Thank you for your feedback. Just in case you missed any other segment, it's on KTV Kenya Facebook page. Continue uh, to interact with us to your next Sunday. Um, it has been a blessing uh, fellowshipping with you. And we encourage you to go to church today. Tusichelewe. Na, na tutoe tight. 